Next question is from Plain Janette. Uh, she is wanting to know tips or experience with heartburn or acid reflux. Uh, this is Justin Justin's, must have Justin's wheelhouse right here. Yeah, yeah, no, I've I've gone through all kinds of different options. With I mean, I was the guy that was like taking Prilosec and all these other different medications to, just to try to eliminate it and and forget it. When did that start for you? How old were you? Do you remember? I mean, it's been with me ever since I can remember pretty much. I, really? Yeah, maybe I would say teen years for the most part because you start really kind of eating crap mm -hmm. and, and, and you, you introduce all that stuff because I'm, I'm kind of going away from what I'm eating at my parents and I'm eating more fast food and things. Once I started eating fast food, it was just like yeah, a whole tub of cookie dough, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, do you remember how? <laughs> yeah, dude. Do you remember how long you were like naive to it though? Like it was happening, and you didn't like. You're just like, ah, oh, it's probably just everybody feels this way. Yeah, I. It really didn't even dawn on me until after college. Yeah. Like I just, I just assumed that that was something that was handed off to me from my dad because he has a, a really bad case of it himself. And my brother as well. My dad actually associated it though with uh, sleep apnea, which I found out is could contribute towards it uh, as well. And so that was something that I tested out and teased out. And I was like, thank God, that's not it. I didn't want to have one of those Darth Vader machines, mm -hmm. uh, you know, hooked up to me at night and carry that thing around when we travel. Yeah. Um, but God, we would I would tease you. I, so much, just yeah. the just the jokes be, be alone would easy, just right? kill me. You know what though? If you have sleep <laughs> apnea, that's a life changer. I have oh, family yeah. members who oh, got yeah, it, for and sure. they're like, I, I oh, wish yeah. I used it before. Yeah, and so I've tried a lot of things, and then we had talked about, like, with a couple of functional medicine doctors, like, they had mentioned that it's an acid, uh, you know, I, I wasn't producing acid at the right times. It was a timing issue, and I had trained my body to uh, basically, like, th through this whole um, uh, sphincter valve thing, whatever you want to call it, like, it was releasing it at the wrong time, and mm -hmm. so it would go up in my throat, like, when I'd lay down at night versus having it there to digest just as I was eating. And so uh, to take these HCL pills was a strategy. And I did went through that process for a while and it did somewhat help. Uh, but the latest thing now that I'm on uh, is this licorice uh, uh, extract. I'm, I was trying to look that up while yeah. you guys were, were talking. A sphincter valve? That's like a real thing? Yeah. Any muscle that does this, Adam. Yeah. So it's not just your butthole. Uh, sphincter says what? Oh, that's, that's, that's yeah. the sphincter. Yeah. That's the yeah. definition of that? Yeah, it's yeah. a sphincter muscle. God, I learned something new every day this. hanging out yeah. with you guys. Adam bought it immediately. Yeah. He's like, you yeah. have a butthole. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I was. I know mouth. Doug was looking <laughs> the same way too. Doug looked at me and gave me the same look I had. Like, what? Did he just... Doug just knows our humor. He's like, someone's going to say something. You know... So a deglyceride licorice just for anybody that's curious that's what i'm on now so uh some red vines <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no no it's pills dude uh, you know okay so a lot of those proton pump inhibiting drugs like yeah. the ones you used to take i know i fucked this up for justin because they're effective you take them you don't get heartburn oh, you, you know what got me off those uh, the study about I dementia. I know. Yeah, it scared the shit out of me. I know. I'm sorry about that. Yeah. But I, I was, I, you know, he's like, man, I take these all the time. They totally work for me. So, you know me, I'm like, oh, I'm going to look this up and see what's going on. And I find these new studies showing that these protein pump inhibitors are connected to a cognitive decline and dementia later in life. So okay. I'm like, fuck. Mm -hmm. Share it with Justin. Yeah, it's already happening. No. <laughs> <laughs> How so long have you been taking these? So you're saying that the, the football, the or black, that? the black licorice is a, a natural way to try and help. And now you take it right before you eat. How often do you take it? Yeah, you three, only uh, yeah, like twice a, a day. And so uh, yeah, I take. I've been taking that and also adjusting my diet. Uh, and that's something I. Anybody that suffers through that as well, I really like highly suggest you go through an elimination diet and you reintroduce yeah. um, uh, different types of foods so you can really know what's the biggest. So finger. SIBO is very closely connected to, too, to yeah. acid reflux. So SIBO is small intestinal bacteria overgrowth, right? right? So bacteria builds up where it's not supposed to. And if you have SIBO and your heartburn or acid reflux is due to SIBO, if you get rid of the SIBO, which it is curable, so SIBO is curable. Now, in a lot of people, it can ha come back. Uh, but if you cure it, either with antibiotics or herbals, by the way, herbals in more recent studies were shown to be just as effective as the antibiotics. If you cure it and get rid of it, it your problem will be gone. Um, and some of these supplements uh, contain these lots of these uh, kind of antimicrobials in them, you know, peppermint oil and oh, right. oregano and garlic and some of the stuff. But essentially what you do is you take them about 15 minutes before you eat, then you eat, and then what it does is it sits in your gut. You throw the food at the bacteria. The bacteria comes out to eat the food, but because of the presence of these herbals are in there, 
it'll kill them. Mm -hmm. The process of treating SIBO can take as long as I mean, is that similar months. to how like a probiotic is working too? No, probiotics bacteria. Okay. Mm -hmm. So these are antimicrobials. Right. They actually kill. So it's uh, like bacteria. shaving away at it uh, slowly. By, okay. By, by yeah. So that. so like peppermint oil, oregano oil. I said uh, garlic, um, and there's some other stuff, but. I took uh, two herbal concoctions, the ones that were in a study for SIBO, and I didn't get heartburn. Mine's different, uh, but I did have SIBO, and it was it's called dyspioside is one, and then FC Cidal is another, and those are the ones that I saw in studies that mm. they actually use. Um, or you can go get antibiotics, but the problem with the antibiotics is uh, they can be very expensive. Well, and another thing too is it's uh, like stress was a big component for that mm -hmm. that would set it off like almost immediately uh, and speed of eating too. So I really had to like co like concentrate uh, on slowing down, you know, taking deep breaths and, and, and eating slowly, and that really helped. And, and it's just kind of annoying because I'm like the last guy to finish uh, food all the time now, but it really does help, and also. Kind Cutting, eating uh, after like six six o'clock at night. It's amazing, and you still get it all over yourself. It's, it's crazy. Just, uh, <laughs> I'm still hungry. <laughs>